Namaste. This is just a quick video to inform everyone in our community about our standards for the community chat. In the beginning, when we were a small group, it wasn't necessary to talk about these things because everybody already understood. But now I'm starting to see that as people join the group and they have less history, uh, they haven't been a part of the early discussions in our group, that they uh, missed a lot. And so there's a lot that they don't understand about what we're trying to do. Okay, what's wrong is that I see a lot of people are not taking courses. Huh? Their registered courses are open to them, but they're not doing any work. So they're not getting the background. They're not getting the context. Huh? You should watch the other video connected with this one, the Entelechy of Consciousness because this explains the context in just a, a 15 minute video. So in other words, all of our work is done within this context of the four Vadas, the system that was originated by Shankaracharya. And actually this system is quite natural and it exemplifies or expresses the experience of every sincere seeker as he works his way up through the levels of the chakras to attain complete self-realization. So this is the context, and context creates meaning. So if you want to post something, what you have to do is bring it in line with the context of the esoteric teaching. Now I know most of you don't understand that, and the way I know it is that you don't use the terminology. You don't say, oh, here's an interesting article I found which relates to Dvaitavada or Vishishtadvaitavada or Vivartavada or Ajatavada. See? If you would talk like that, then you could post practically anything in the group that you found interesting. And as long as it doesn't distort the context, then the meaning will be clear. Another point is some people are starting to post things from way outside our normal uh, range of uh, context, but they haven't done any coursework. They haven't accrued any seniority in the group. See, this is another thing related to context. If you have gone through the courses, if you have watched the early videos especially, you understand that what we're doing is we're trying to establish a process of becoming that leads to enlightenment. And this is the overall context, the container huh, that holds the teaching and gives it meaning. Without that meaning, then it's likely to degenerate into a simple uh, discussion about, well, I like this idea, and I like that idea, and somebody else likes this other idea. Well, so what? How does that contribute to the welfare of the group? Only if it falls within the context. So here's what I'm suggesting, that if you're new and you haven't taken any courses, don't post to the group. <laughs> Because you're just going to cause a disturbance and I'll have to, you know, take some action and then you'll be disappointed and, you know, have hurt feelings or whatever. So <laughs> people have no discipline these days, you know. When I approach a teacher, and I've approached quite a few teachers in my life, first I try to read all their stuff and get an idea where they're coming from what their values are, what their intentions are, and learn their terminology so that I can talk with them intelligently about their work. I mean, I just can't believe that people come into this community and want to post stuff 
and they don't know our vocabulary. They don't know our terminology. They don't understand our shop talk. They have misunderstood terms on the important elements of our context. So until that problem is overcome, you have to just study. You have to take the courses. You have to do the work. If you don't do the work, you're not going to get the understanding. That's all there is to it. And I don't see anybody picking it up by osmosis, <laughs> just by association. No, you have to go and study and understand what's important and what you need to keep in mind, to keep mindful of when you post to our group so that the group is not disturbed. Okay, so if there are any questions about this, don't hesitate to contact me. We can discuss it openly in the group if you want. This is not anything secret. <laughs> this is actually one of the requirements for being a member of our Dharmasar, uh, Essence of Dharma group. So, Aung Tat Sat, Aung Shakti Aung.